Yoli Child's going to go down as one of the greatest BYU basketball players ever. And while the COVID virus took away his chance to play in the NCAA tournament, Childs is now completely focused on the NBA draft this October. The last BYU basketball player to get drafted? Well, everyone knows that. The legend. The man himself. <laughs> He needs no introduction. Jimmer. But that was nine years ago. Yoli Childs, who's projected to go in the second round, wants to be next. Oh, it would be unbelievable. You know, um, what I'm hearing right now is there's, there's a very good chance I will get drafted. It's going to be really exciting to represent BYU at that next level. I know that I'm ready for that level and ready to compete at that level. Childs has had a ton of Zoom meetings with NBA teams, but all they really need to do is look at his game film. The feedback's been really positive. Teams can look at a guy like me and say, oh, he's gotten better every year. Look at the game film from year to year to year. He's someone that wants to improve and get better at his game. So I think that teams have a good idea of what they're getting right away. In the meantime, Childs is working on his outside shot and getting stronger. Get, you know, close to a thousand shots every day to go get in the weight room um, and just take care of my body, handle my business there. So it's definitely been, been different, but it's been exciting. Childs also knows there are things bigger than basketball. That's why he posted a message on Instagram detailing what it's been like growing up as a black man in Utah and his own experiences with the police. It's important that we, we learn there is a problem. You know, we can't just, can't just turn our heads and ignore it. When you look at the statistics with black people being almost three times more likely to be killed by a police officer, when you look at the incarceration statistics, um, you have to make a decision for yourself and say, okay, is the problem with black people or is there a problem with the system? So I think once we become more aware um, and understand more of what's going on in, in our state and what's going on in our country and the world around us, um, we can be more empathetic and more understanding and more together as a community. Yeah, I hope an NBA team takes a chance on Yoli. Great person, great player. And we